for you who could be against me. This has been a round of the century. I am not supposed to win this. So, now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is March 2nd, so that means it is Texas Independence Day. Independence Day to all my Texans out there. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. We're going we're gonna to get into a little bit of Canelo. Uh, Canelo Bavol, official May 7th at the T-Mobile. But I got some thoughts on it that I want to get into. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Share 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, please uh, subscribe. Our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, so the small news is Baval and Canelo. Um, official, May 7th, we knew that. It's at the T-Mobile. Great venue, so that's good. Uh, but uh, there's some other news on it. Um the WBA may not sanction Bavol as a champion because he's from Russia, which means it wouldn't be a title fight, which is which is which is interesting. They would they wouldn't recognize Bavol as a WBA champion, as a champion, uh, because he's from Russia, um, which means this would be a non-title fight, which is fascinating. So if Canelo won, or would they put the I, I, I you know that's what's being discussed right now. Um, I, I, I think money talks and that's a big sanctioning fee. So I'm pretty sure they'll sanction it. Um, so there's that. And, and then I, I also want to get into the thing that Canelo is ducking. Look, this is just getting insane. Like boxing fans be like, Canelo's fighting the number two light heavyweight in the world. And then he's fighting the number one middleweight in the world who, who, who people think beat him maybe twice. He's ducking because he didn't fight Benavides who doesn't have a belt. Who's lost his belt twice and doesn't like to make weight because he's too lazy? That's who he's ducking, right? I, 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 it's just insane. Look, I said before, I'll say it again. If I had my druthers, if I got to pick the the opponents, I'd pick Bavol and Benavides. I mean, I'm sorry, Benavides and Charlo. I would pick Benavides and Charlo. But Bavol and Triple G aren't. Ducks. Um, we're going to find out more about Triple G. And maybe I should do about the Triple G Murata fight. Maybe we should do a little show about that. Because uh, it's a fun fight. I don't want to pick Triple G. It's going to be fun while it lasts, though. Um, we're going to find out how much he has left. If he blows away Murata like an old Triple G would, then it's a good fight. Like if he struggles with Murata and barely gets past him. You know, all right, it's not a great fight. It's still not a duck, though, right? Because people are saying Triple G beat him twice. A lot of people say that. Most people say at least once. A lot of people say twice. So how is fighting someone who beat you once, possibly twice, two great close fights, a duck? It's interesting. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, and then Bavol, who's a long-reigning champion in the weight class above you. That's a duck. I mean, none of this makes any sense. N none, none of this makes any sense at all. I mean, right? It, it, it would... It would, <laughs> it would be like if Taylor went up and fought Crawford or Spence and then saying he's ducking some challenger at 140. Like, it's not even a logical thing to say. Right, like, like, it, Josh Taylor didn't fight Barbosa. He went up and fought Spence. So therefore, he's ducking Barbosa. It's like it's not even a logical thing to say. Uh, he's fighting a guy, a long reigning champion, who's bigger than he is. But it's a duck. I mean. <laughs> I know, but boxing fans will want to be taken seriously when they say that. Um, 
Another thing I wanted to get into real quickly is, you know, this is going to be a pay-per-view. It's going to be $59 for the Zone subscribers. It's going to be $79 for um, non-subscribers, but you get the month for it. You get the rest of the month for it as well. Eddie Hearn told me that pay-per-view model was dead. I guess that's I guess that's not, right? Um and I, I just think this is a horrible idea, honestly. You're hiding your best product behind a $79 price tag, which means no one's going to buy it, right? Like, if you, you charge $79 for the NFL playoffs, the Super Bowl, would people buy it? Like, if you gave them – the, the, the model in the NFL is you get the playoffs, you get the Super Bowl, you get the Sunday night game for free. You get the Thursday, the, the, the game of the week, the Sunday game of the week, the four o'clock game for free. You get the Monday night game on ESPN with part of your typical package, right? So you can have your typical cable package that has ESPN and get basically every football game that's meaningful. If you're such a junkie that you want to watch the Jets versus the Jaguars, um, you know, the, the, the Texans versus the Giants, then you got to pay for it. But the best products we give you. Because we want to grow the fan base. Boxing does the opposite, right? They charge you the most for the product people want to see. You think more people or less people would watch the NFL playoffs and the Super Bowl if they hit it behind a $79 price tag? Less. A lot less. They'd be less profitable, right? Just ask yourself this question. Who's got a better profit model, boxing or the NFL? There's your answer. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments below. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Leave your thoughts and comments on Bavol. Is this a duck? I've explained why it's not. Explain to me why it is. Uh, MGM Grand, it being sanctioned, it not being sanctioned, and this being on pay-per-view. Leave all your thoughts and comments below. We'll be back tomorrow with another show. Happy Texas Independence Day to all my Texans. Uh, from Texas to the – oh, oh, please subscribe. Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery as well as 3D Boxing on all forms. Please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.